Welcome back to Cafe O'Neill. I've been investigating what makes better espresso, WDT or blind shaker, for a little while now. And I think I came to a conclusion. Been keeping track in this little notebook. The time it took to pull the espresso, how acidic it was, how sweet it was. And I've determined, at least for me, that the blind shaker makes the espresso taste a little bit better. But you have to remember, like, this is gonna be on the margin. Like all of this nerdy espresso stuff, it's gonna make it a little bit better. Whichever way you determine makes it a little bit better for you. But the main things are gonna be, do you have clean, good water? Do you have fresh coffee? Do you have a system to make your espresso or to make your latte or your cortado that's gonna be consistent? But what were the results? I mean, like I investigated for almost a month, like what happened? Well, when I took a look at it, it was basically that when I used the blind shaker, more of the acidic notes, more sweetness came out of the espresso. With the WDT, it was just a little bit more muted. It was just a little bit more, a, a little bitter, to be honest. Um, yeah, overall, I found that the blind shaker creates better espresso, um, creates more of the natural notes from the coffee, and overall, I think that's the method I'm going to go with.